I'm feeling great. It's nice to go back to Finland. It's Father's Day today, so happy to go. I haven't seen my family for a while, so it's nice to go and see them and spend the day with them. Go eat somewhere and, and just just uh, spend time with them. And just I'm off, off tomorrow again to, with the national team, so just want to use all time with them. Of course, it's a big week for the national team, so hope we can do well. improved a little bit it's not quite as fog as it was but it's still very hazy with low cloud and uh, pretty damp as well i'm afraid temperature is 70 degrees centigrade but we've enjoyed the flight with us today Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, obviously, there was couple, one and a half weeks I didn't see them, so it was nice to spend the day with them and, and just relax and enjoy their company. Yeah, it's a big game on Friday, so I hope uh, it could be a good week before that. See you later. Already now uh, the interest has increased, but uh, but if and when uh, Finland really qualify to your uh, 2020, uh, 20, uh, so uh, companies, media, everyone could be more and more interested in Temu. And uh, everyone here uh, waits that uh, on Friday. Uh, the national team uh, will make uh, some some history, and it, it's a great, great, uh, and brilliant day for for Finnish football. At this moment, the hottest name, and, and obviously there are, there's a huge amount of requests and demands from the media, and obviously from the fans. But uh, he can cope with that. Always good. So such a great pro, you know, doing everything what he can best, and and. and and in most of the cases, what he can do best is uh, score some goals, and uh, obviously we we need to need him to to play well. You know, rest two matches. That's a great guy. I mean, I was there when he made his debut. I think it was 11 years ago or something like that. And always be so nice, polite, and and such a great professional in and out pitch. And I, a very very nice guy, very modest. Not too much excitement at the moment, it's more like how we can handle the situation because uh, the numbers are pretty big and much more bigger than we usually have around our national team. So, so basically the idea is that every single day we have one press conference and in a way I think we are going to be sold out and that's, that's my main concern to how to keep the things running. Tämä on joka tapauksessa peli, jonka pitäisi ehdottomasti voittaa ja Suomenkin pitäisi voittaa tällainen peli lähes aina, niin uskallatko luvata, että Suomi voittaa tämän ottelun? 
No joo, niin kuin sanoin, että tämä on semmoinen peli, mikä meidän pitää, pitää voittaa ja, ja meillä on niin kuin kaikki aseet siihen, että jos me pelataan omaa tasolla, niin me voitetaan tämä matsi. No niin, se oli voi palvelu, ja kyllä me luotan siihen, että meidän jätkät ja on niin valmiin siinä otsiolla, että, että me hoidetaan tämä homma. Kyllä me voi luotan, että kerrankin, <laughs> kerrankin niin kuin uskaa. <laughs> Mutta joo, kyllä meillä on niinku, tämän joukkojen taitotaso on sen verran korkea ja mentaliteetti tällä hetkellä, että kyllä me hoidetaan homma. The biggest thing was that he, he promised that uh, Finland's gonna win Liechtenstein. And usually Teemu never give these uh, kind of promises before anything or any games. Uh, but then he said that if we're gonna play in our level, I promise we're gonna win. But you could see he was thinking the answer for a long time. He was like uh, telling that and telling that, and in the end, okay, I promise. And that was the biggest thing. People are so excited at the, at the moment because people have waited this for century, uh, uh, many decades, and 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 many generations have waited Finnish to qualify to the World Cup or, or European Championship. So, so the expectations are so high at the moment. I'm very confident. I, I think uh, we have great, great team. Uh, we, have, we have Teemu Pukki uh, at the moment. And I think you could say if you don't win Liechtenstein in a home game, uh, Uh, the European Championships, it's, it's not the right place for you. <laughs> you need to win. feeling is fantastic uh, you know ice hockey has always been our natural sport and and we've had obviously success so that feeds success in that sport so but now obviously uh, with football it's been a fantastic journey for the past couple of years and the lads have done amazingly normally i would have say would have said that they are very nervous because obviously it's uh, it's It's, it's very exciting times for them, but when you look at this uh, group of players, they've grown together unbelievably in the, in the past couple of years. And, and when this qualifying uh, stage or group started, I would have probably said that it's going to be really difficult for this team. But the way uh, every single player has developed and how, they've, how they are playing now together as a team, it's, it's just unbelievable. I think one thing is that every single player is working for, for each other and uh, when you start looking at how they defend, they are literally very compact and tight and every single player is running their balls off <laughs> literally yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, for the other person and it's very organized as well. I think he was a natural uh, goal scorer in the sense that uh, he would always go past a couple of players and, and obviously his first steps are so quick and he's great at attacking space. So uh, it was always going to be clear Temu was going to do a great uh, career in football. But of course now for the past couple of years the steps that he has taken and improved as a player and striker has been immense. I think obviously he's the biggest currently that you have in Finland and of course we're in the number 10. We have uh, Jari Littmanen, obviously legend for Finnish football. He was always wearing the number 10. So I think any country and any team needs a strong number 10 and Teemu has shown that, that he wears that with pride and, and obviously uh, being one of the lead players to take us hopefully through Friday will be uh, great.
This game is uh, artificial grass, so it's different. Um, and it's, well, plus three, four, maybe snowing, <laughs> maybe raining. Mm. But Demo has played uh, in that stadium for like one and a half year. So he's playing uh, in front of his uh, like ex-home stadium. So he feels comfortable there and he's really excited to come back home. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, there's been a uh, couple trainings and a lot of meetings. That's what we do here. We know pretty much everything about Liechtenstein now, so we should be we should be ready for the game. But yeah, it's been nice nice to see the guys as well and been been playing cards and stuff like that on our free time. Yesterday we were talking about it and yeah, can't wait well, on Friday. It's uh, Feels like the time is going really slowly before, before, especially before this game. More like uh, not not reading those stuff and just focusing uh, what we're doing. And uh, in the end, those those things doesn't matter. So, but it's it's a good thing because there's been times when football hasn't been so popular in Finland. So it's really nice that they are now at the moment they are talking all the time about this game and overall football. We were planning uh, what to do this week, uh, uh, especially in the later part of the week, uh, and what kind of stories we are doing. There were plenty of people involved in that meeting. Like usually, we don't have <laughs> that huge meeting for a uh, few uh, sports days, uh, but this is a highly unordinary uh, occasion like a uh, once-in-a-lifetime uh, occasion for Finland men's national football team. Already uh, there are plans of uh, tens of articles and, and all kinds of uh, content, uh, digital and print content uh, planned and uh, articles that are already written. Well, he wasn't that um, known player or uh, he didn't have that kind of like a, a star status uh, uh, in previous years uh, but uh, within these last couple years uh, his uh, fame has uh, risen to a whole new levels and um, and uh, apparently he is uh, one of the most well-known athletes uh, of Finland at the moment. I think we have a once, once in a lifetime opportunity. So I think, and I think that the most of the Finnish people feel like that. But this is this is the time we're going to do it, <laughs> and he will help us. He will score the goals. I hope so. <laughs> Just taking care of our website, mostly. Yeah. And what's the fan engagement been like? This week, with the build-up, so probably the biggest game. For oh yeah, it's growing, it's growing. But a few days to go. Yeah. And how are you feeling? Excited? Ah, uh, as as Temu said yesterday, we will go through for sure. Obviously, if there will be a good result, then then, then everyone, uh, every article will be read, and uh, there will be uh, like uh, lots of celebrations and we're going to follow those celebrations and, and follow the team uh, merrily going to Greece uh, after the match.
What these boxes? Well, all of these boxes are actually the stock for the Norwich pop-up shop that they're gonna set up in the Campi shopping center before the big game. So yeah, a lot of nice stuff. We seem to work very well together with the Norwich City crew and vice versa. And the mentality, mentality seems to fit, but if I have to analyze it, maybe it's a little bit of this, we're both a little bit of these underdog stories. We aren't like the top player, top team, so to speak, in the world, but we've been able to break through in a very competitive market with a maybe a smaller resources than some of the other big, big, big teams or companies. So I think there's something in that, the backstories of both companies. We've always built our ethos so that we're not just a gaming company, we're building brands. The game is of course kind of our flagship product. That's the main thing that we still do. But from the get-go when we started to build the game, we started to build the brand at the same time. Which means that we wanted to have these characters that have, have a world of their own that's thought out, that they have their backstories and history and that there's more than just the game. Our brand is already at that point in awareness that it makes sense for two like TV advertising and this radio and this regular mass media but at the same time we still want to keep doing these this new stuff that other people haven't done and that is actually the reason why we ended up partnering with Norwich back in the day for the first time because when we worked with you guys originally it was the first time ever that a mobile gaming company was sponsoring a Premier League team. So that was one one of the first that we wanted. Are they all in order, Kaylee? Yeah, so everything's arrived. We're just waiting for the No Pookie No Party t-shirts. Uh, so I'm just chasing the supplier to get in touch with the courier so we can find out where they are. So fingers crossed everything will be here in time. They all mugs, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah I think most of the people are I've been waiting, hoping my whole life that we get to the Euros and I've been burned out a couple of times before. There used to be a few times when we were pretty close, but still it didn't pan out. But this time all the stars just seem to be aligning. They believe in this. They are going to the Euros. They've been saying it from the get-go basically and I think normal people believe in them again. Like It, it feels shameful now to say that we didn't believe in them in the get-go but definitely now I think everyone is <clears throat> they aren't afraid to say that they believe in the national team that they believe they believe in who that uh, that we believe that they are going to the Euros this time What's happening today is a uh, well, press conference and it's pretty busy, like you can, you can see and then 
but it's not. Uh, of course, we expect to have a little bit of a busy press conference today because tomorrow is a big day and hopefully kind of a historical day. So, so we are pretty happy that uh, there's some interest. Yeah, we're looking forward to the job And obviously, it's uh, it's nice to have uh, quite a lot of people from abroad also. So that's that's not too common in Finland that uh, somebody is just traveling here and then uh, watching our football. And that's. Uh, something what makes me a bit proud even. Yeah, I was born in Slovakia, but after only one or one and a half years we moved to, to Finland, so basically I feel 95% Finnish and 100% the Finnish football player, so uh, I mean football-wise it was always the dream to play as a, as a Finnish, uh, to, for, for the Finnish national team, yeah. Uh, we need the final, uh, final push and uh, I think the push that we'll be missing is the qualification for the final tournament. So I'm excited to see if it finally, I hope it happens on Friday. If not Friday, then at least on Monday. Uh, but yeah, what, what, what it will do to the nation. And uh, I mean, ice hockey is still sponsor wise, maybe the biggest sport. But uh, generally, I would say that more people and more uh, young, young guys or uh, girls are uh, actually have a uh, football as their hobby. So uh, the the mass in football is there and the talent is coming, so uh, this would be a major thing to achieve it. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say it was never written in the stars that this, this team would be the first one to achieve it, but I mean, uh, also Marku was our coach back in the days as well, so he knows this generation more than any, anyone. And I find it the only rational explanation why we're doing so well, that uh, the team has been uh, together for so long and uh, I know we have we don't have the biggest stars, but uh, at this time we're I'm 29, Temu is 29, a couple of guys are 30, and we have a lot of experience. It might not be at the top level of Premier League or anything, but a lot of, a lot of guys have three or four hundred uh, appearances in the Scandinavian leagues or somewhere. And that's a major thing as well that uh, we're starting to be experienced enough to maintain the quality and uh, yeah, also the pressure pressure side that we uh, don't uh, let our performances. Uh, flip too much because of that. I think it's confidence in many things at the moment. Uh, the confidence level in, in this team is really good and uh, and also the group of players we have uh, suits the way we play really well and uh, and yeah when when we just started getting results it helped us to, to keep keep doing the same thing. Yeah we haven't qualified in 80 years and uh, of course, the expectations are very high. We have made a great campaign so far, and uh, we want to end it up by, by winning this time and uh, secure the place in the Euros. Of course, you can notice uh, that if you speak about people, there are many who have started to follow football uh, after, after our, our games, and they think very, they're very interesting in what had happened the Finnish national team. Of course, uh, I've emphasized to the players that they should think of it as an individual game, not too much what can be achieved by winning. Of course, they know about that, but still they have to be very calm in a way and do their job. And if we reach our normal level of playing, I'm sure that we can win this time. The key factor behind our success is a teamwork, team ethic. Every player are ready to sacrifice themselves for the team. And for instance, Temu Pukki, if you follow him uh, during a game, he's doing a great job offensively, but defensively as well. It's worth it, this is great. He knows that we need him in defending as well. And uh, with other guys, he's done a great job so far. I think uh, it's very clear what for the players what I want. Uh, tactically, and now it's more about mental thing. I get get the right spirit uh, to the players and right mentality, and get them very inspired. And, and uh, it's not so much do 24 hours before the game. It's more mental thing. I get a good good team spirit and good push.
girls feeling today? Excited, yeah, ready to get the pookie party started. Big day today? Big day, big day. Could be a historic day for Finnish football, historic day for Norwich City with their first pop-up overseas, I think. Is that right, Kaylee? Yes, it is. Kaylee's very happy. So we go and, go and sell some product like an apprentice task, really. I think the main reason is the colours because our hometown team, Ilves, shares the same colours, for example. So most of us are Ilves fans as well. So there's the colour combination as well. And of course, we saw a few games which were Norwich games and we just fell in love with the atmosphere and at Carrow Road. Yeah, and one main reason was Wes Hulahan. Ah, you big fan yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. Super Wes Hulahan. Yeah. Yeah. Because of them, they are so every single game here in Finland. So for yeah, last year we've been played in championship. There was like every every week there was a game, or every other week, and all the Premiership games have been televised here in Finland. Before that, it was like one or two in a year. So of course, there's yeah. lots of lots of fans are just rooting for Demo Pukki, but I think there's having a new fan base here in Finland as well. Yeah, he's like like the next president of Finland right now. <laughs> yeah. He's like God in here. Yeah. yeah. It was really difficult to sleep last night and uh, this, I understand it's been uh, experience with the football people. We've waited for many of us, it's waited this, not just this generation but generation already before and uh, we need mentally this break the barrier to actually get there and now when you are so close obviously everybody's excited and uh, and uh, you know very positively excited. I don't I haven't seen this kind of movement in Finland and football for a very very long time so um, uh, it's great, it's fantastic. In my opinion, is this different within this team is that um, they, they got it right in terms of how team functions, what are the roles and, uh, and uh, you know, it's very well coached, it's very well structured and, uh, um, you know, of course it helps that uh, it's, it's a different, you know, format in order to get to the final tournament, but it's, it's a mixture of these things. Um, I would also say it has a fantastic character in the team and, and when you have the two most important roles, which is a keeper and a, and a, and a striker, absolutely on fire on top of their game, you know, Lucas and Temu are, are really making the difference on top of it to be a well-structured and well-rolled team. If you say before, like two years ago, okay, Finland Liechtenstein, uh, November, um, I th it, it would sound like a game that would not be the most exciting and that people wouldn't reserve their tickets beforehand. Now we could sell the stadium uh, ten or, or seven, eight, ten times more than and, and the ticket prices are just ridiculous. And even the team members who used to play most of the games is, is, is still looking for tickets. So it's, uh, it's um, sort of both good and difficult situation for Finnish Football Federation. Everybody knows today is the day that it should happen, and everybody's prepared for that. So, so, um, so, um, and I, I'm, I'm very confident it will happen. If not, it will happen one way or another in any case. And, uh, and you will see. I, I mean, I know you Brits, you go quite crazy on things, but Finnish take it on another level. You will see things that you wouldn't want to see, <laughs> or you wish to see, or you can't explain to other people. That this is actually what the crazy Finns do when they win something. You will see tonight, I'm pretty sure of that.
olisi tullut vastaan, vaikka sitä kovempikin jalkapallo Quite a speechless feeling. I don't know what to feel or what to say. It's uh, it's been so long, like a dream for Finnish football to, to go Euro or World Cup, and now we finally in a major tournament. So this is for dream, like you saw on the pitch. This is for all Finnish football people. This this, is, this means so much. So it's uh, really hard to put on words what it means. There was something I was thinking will happen that they all would come there. Uh, I was a bit afraid actually. <laughs> I wanted to run run away and uh, and but yeah, yeah like like there you saw what, what it really means for these people. I, I saw many, many guys crying like old old man so so it's a, it's a big thing for us. It was a really tough game to prepare uh, with all the emotions and uh, and the pressure so So yeah, first goal was the first for for the other guy, first in the national team. So that was a, probably the best moment to do it. And yeah, then two goals after for me. So yeah, obviously really happy, happy with the with the results and and the way way the game went. It means so much for me personally and my family as well. Uh, like it, it, there's been some hard times in the national team as well for me. So this is. This is a nice feeling now that it's been just a great couple of years in the in the club wise and in the national league. It's a major part of what we're doing and uh, and and like like uh, as I said earlier already they he knows us so so well from long time so he knows how how to put us on the pitch what what to do and what we do on our best so and the feeling as well it's uh, amazing. Hope the Norwich City party is, <laughs> is a loud one. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going, but we're going for somewhere for sure, and uh, we're gonna enjoy this night. And, and uh, then tomorrow we're gonna start thinking about Greece game. Uh, but we're gonna have fun today for sure.
a bit surreal to be honest, you know. Um, probably hasn't hit me as of yet, but um, now nah, all the boys are buzzing and um, yeah, we're just looking forward to the Euros, I guess. So, oh yeah, I have. I've seen loads, loads of videos and a lot of fans. So yeah, it's, it's great. It's an honour to be a Finnish boy right now. <laughs> The manager wants to go and win that game as well, so yeah, we've got to take it seriously and hopefully get back maximum points. Um, yeah, we're all looking forward to it. Morning, morning, morning. It's like a normal meeting that we have uh, before the broadcast. We gather around like uh, two or three hours before to just go through the running order, which basically is a second by second plan on what we want to do. And tonight when we are facing uh, Greece away in a final match in the European qualifiers, uh, and we already qualified, it's uh, Ghana uh, keeping up the up the feeling in the broadcast and have a lot of uh, emotions and um, clips from UK papers and the papers around the world. And tonight we have a team in a team in Athens and they are doing uh, presentations pitch side, interviewing a coach. They've done some um, uh, features around the players and celebrations after Friday's uh, big triumph. Basically that's it, and we know already that uh, Finland is going to make a lot of uh, changes in their lineup, at least four or five changes. So, so when a little little through what we want to do when we when we get the starting lineups, what the new players we want to highlight, and stuff like that. I think they will take it quite seriously because uh, at least I want to I want to see them take it seriously because uh, we were in the, in a Nations League and we qualified. Uh, in an away game against Greece, but we lost it, but it was enough. And then we had an away game in Hungary and we lost. We've lost to Italy away and Bosnia had to go in our way. So I personally want to see us winning an away game because all the match matches in the Euros are going to be away games. So I'm hoping that the, that the team will uh, approach it that way as well. <laughs> Can't do your time, no? Never ever yeah. in my life. No. I'm 58, <laughs> never made it. Yeah. 58, never made it. <laughs> He's the best time maker in England. Uh, <laughs> Keith Armstrong, can I, can I interview, uh, can I uh, how you present uh, yeah. the best time maker yeah. in the whole Finland? Yeah. So my time maker is coming from Newcastle, from, from uh, St. James's Park. He comes, <laughs> here, he comes extra here to make my tie for the studios. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Well, I'm classed as a, what they say here. They call it, they call us experts, not pundits. Actually, I don't know where I, where experts are not. But uh, myself and Passy, uh, Passy is a, a very well known personality here in Finland. Played in Bayern Munich and Werder Bremen and big clubs in Germany. And um, my background is I came here to play football in the late 70s, actually early 80s. I was on loan from Newcastle originally and ended up staying here, coaching, etc. I've worked with the national team. And uh, I've been coaching now the champions of the of the Finnish league this year, Coops. Oh, everybody! Everybody was already excited before the game. Always, you go with the dog outside to to uh, let him make the piss and so on. Everybody, hey, Pasi, what's going on? If you like, is Teemu gonna score and so on? And of course, the answer was. To everyone, of course, Temu is going to score a couple of goals in, on Friday night in Helsinki in his old, uh, old home crown and so on. And it was a big, great night for whole Finnish football and for the social society here. When England won the World Cup in 1966, I was nine years old. And 
I can remember how I felt there watching the black and white TV on our old green sofa in Ravenshill Road in, in Newcastle at one time. And um, I can remember everybody was dancing in the streets and jumping up and down. It was absolutely unbelievable. And um, I, th I would compare it with that, I would say, because this has just never been done in Finnish football. You know, it's the first time they've ever uh, won, uh, got through to a major competition. So in that way, they've won something already. That's in 80 years of football or 80 years of trying. And um, England did it in 1966, so I think we could compare it with that. I have been waiting for that 58 years. There are a couple of who have been waiting over 70, 80 or even over 90 years. I have an old father, he's born, he's born 34. And he sometimes said to me, Pasi, maybe I might not see in the Finnish team to and now my father was on the stadium, fit, and with his whole heart and so on. So my father saw that it was so important for everyone in Finland, really big thing. I think it's a, it's a tricky one for him, and I, I'm sure that Greece are up for it, because Greece have won the last two games, they've done very well, and uh, they're in a renewal situation, they've got a, a new coach in, a newish coach, and uh, he's bringing a lot of young players through as well, so they're all fighting for the future. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven changes. You did say that, didn't you? Yeah. Really seven or six? Well, seven if you like compare on our positions. Yeah. Six players. But six new players. Yeah. Se on selvä, että me mennään kisoihin. Suomi kohtaa tänään EM karsintoja viimeisessä ottelussa Kreikan ja... Limnios etenee, päätyviivaan kohden keskitys. Tauli Väisänen luodi blokkaa tämän ja Kreikka tasoittaa. Nyt on vähän löysää pelaamista Suomelta tähän jaksoon alkuun. Ja näin... Semi-expected, I think. So many changes in the team, of course, um, especially the defence. Stopper was playing out at right back. Two brothers in at the middle of defence. Great thing for the family, of course. But um, I think I think it went quite what it went as expected. I think um, Marco Canava now got a few answers about a few players as well. Can they play up to this standard? I know it was a little bit difficult for the players with so many changes, but I think it was expected. Uh, the most expected thing was maybe that team was scored again. Love that one. <laughs> 
a few years ago they keep talking about this golden era, the golden team that we had. We had some big, big stars. A lot of the players were playing in the Premier League, playing in Bundesliga, etc., etc. You know, and now we've got a lot of boys, not too many players playing in really top clubs. Uh, they've got a great team spirit. You can see that with everything that they do. I think it's a huge thing that Marco Canavan and the rest of the coaches have got these guys working. You know, the sum of what they have there, the sum is that they have there as a team is more than the parts in many, many ways. Done a great job. Yeah, it's been uh, crazy uh, yeah. to, to go there, the nervous we had before the games and, uh, and to make it to the Euros. That's the uh, biggest dream as a footballer I ever had and uh, now it's reality. Busy week? Yeah, for sure. <laughs>